thing and I like the bikes. The bikes are really nice. I love the bikes. They're really beautiful as they are. <laughs> Adventures here and I'm showing you an exclusive Tron set and you know it noticed I've got it signed just there you can see it just the writing just I've got signed there from Brick Bros UK and this is an exclusive video on to Tron showing you uh, the set itself and you can see this is the base this is the base set and this is the other side how it's done it's got a nice Tron it's got the grid I like the way it's got the grid on the it's all tracing on the grid Making all the each separate piece on its own. So if you can imagine you can make a full size grid, that'd be really cool. And here I show you this to show you the bikes. Let's put this side a minute. Here is the blue bike. Here's the Tron blue bike, as you can see. And it's got the back bit, you know, when he does it in the film and uh I could knock him out. It's quite really it's quite really nice bike. It's quite a really nice bike to look at. It's really cool in itself. It's got nice features of it and, and even underneath it's got the uh, light cycle, it's got the uh, lights as it goes underneath as it goes along. And it does run freely, it's a right good bike, it goes along quite nice. So it gives a nice printish touch, I'll just show you. As you can see, it's got a lot free to it. And I just showed you the, uh, the uh, orange bike, as the bad side. And uh, this is supposed to be Rizzler's bike apparently. And yeah, it's got the same features, and but it's just on an orange colour. And that's also got an orange base. What's interesting, on the UV light, this one actually glows on the UV light and this one's got a nice drift to it as well. If you move these up slightly off the ground, because people, when you put these on, when you put these on, they put them, to put them down to the ground. If you put them up slightly, just a bit, just a slight, so they've got freedom, the car, the light cycle should run a bit better than um, expected. So you've got a bit of more of a run free. Yeah, they're quite nice, these bikes, and these are the two bikes, the two light cycle bikes. And now let's show you the figures. And here we have um, Sam Flynn. I'll just show you. This is Sam Flynn. I've got his hair figure in the box actually, but yeah, this is the helmet he comes with. He's got his own uh, um, disc at the back, identity disc. I just showed you the identity disc. It's quite nice features to it. It's quite, and he can actually hold it if he wants to hold it. Let's get him on there for you. Oh. So you let us hold his disc, so you can play Disc Wars as well. And what's so really cool about the grid, you can have Disc Wars on the grid as well. So if you put them on just, that was just, just there. So we've got two little pinholes to put in there, you can see it. There's two pinholes here as well. And also we've got um, Rizzler in the film. This is Rizzler. Uh, I know he's got a face, but in the film you know he has got a helmet on all the time. But yeah, this is Rizzler. And what's cool about Rizzler, I just want to show you, Rizzler has two discs, so he's got at the back, got two discs, he's got one, let's so get this off, he's got one, and oh, two, see how it goes on like that, so he's got the two, the two discs, so if you're putting them on his hand like this, I can show you how it is, so, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen, <laughs> right, just putting the discs on for you, so you can see, he's got one there, and he's got one just there, so like, oh, that was a bit silly of me, wasn't it, really? Bear me a second. Okay, now we've got the uh, discs back on now. And you can do it, so they've got light cycle battle. Boys, not light cycle battle, I'm saying um, disc battle. What's wrong with me? <laughs> it's got a disc battle, so it's pretty cool. So you can read the features out how you want. But you notice it, this one's quite different on the disc, where you put the discs back. This one's like that, and this one it looks like that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm the disc fighting and everything. That's pretty awesome. And I'll just show you Aura. She's she's quite special actually, very special indeed. She comes with a um, a, a sword, and she's got quite nice face features as well. And what's interesting, they even got the uh, the free. If you can see it, I'll have to zoom in for you to show that. You got the uh, very. Just zoom it into you. Just focus that in for you. You just about see it. Let's focus that in for you. I'm trying to get a focus for that. But it's on her arm. She's actually got this nice added feature. I just fo I just get it. Yeah, just just about there. They've got the little piece on the film now in the film. Just right there on her arm. I try and get a zoom in for that. Yeah, I just notice it. You see it on her arm. Is what's that in the film? Just about. Just about there. You just see it. 
on her arm, but you see better in the light. But yeah, it's pretty cool that. What she has on her film, it's quite good details on this one as well, as you can see. I'm just giving you close detail details on the Tron set. As you see, it's quite good features on there, especially with Rizla and Sam Levin. And I like the bikes. The bikes are really nice. I love the bikes. They're really beautiful as they are. It's quite a nice set. It's quite an enjoyable set. And uh, I'll just show you the book. The book's more interesting as well. Book. I'm going to show you what, how it, the book is because it's a really good book as well. You quite like this as well. It shows you the inside. It shows you the, uh, the fan designers and then the people that designed it. As you can see, Brick Bros UK, all about them and everything. It's quite an interesting insight. And uh, it's got all cool features in here actually. It's quite a nice book as it goes. There's a bit about the film and a bit about the characters in the film. So the, the figures it comes with. So that's pretty cool when you think about it. And then all the instructions how to build uh, the Lego set, as you can see, is quite, quite, quite complex. But yeah, it's quite an interesting book actually. It's just, well, yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. And it's got a nice cover to it as well. I like it. It's similar, same as the box, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That I don't you think? Yeah, I quite like that. It's quite nice. I let uh, you got to see my video. I send a link in the description of the um. The, uh, I did the uh, queuing up and getting this Tron set signed. I did a link to that where where it happened on this video. You got to see it, it's pretty awesome. If you haven't seen it yet, do check it out. But yeah, this is the Lego Tron set. And uh, if you do get a chance to buy it, it's twenty nine ninety nine at Lego. It's quite an awesome set, and uh, I'm quite proud to own it as well. Might get a few more of these to make a little light cycle battle and then a disc battle. That'd be pretty cool. Going to try and buy some, get some more of these pieces to make a big grid. That'd be pretty awesome to do. Now I've got the instructions. I'm going in the back. Things at the back, it tells you. It should be, yeah. Because you can, here it is. This is the bit I like about Lego when you buy a set. It tells you the pieces that you can order individually. So you can make a big piece and how you want it. That's pretty awesome. Until next time then.